Hello, this is my Morris Miner, and I gotta see if my 8-track player works. Now, I don't have any 8-tracks, but there is a way to tell if this thing works. But, just a little back background on this 8-track player. I found this 8-track player on Saturday in somebody's garbage. So I picked it up, and I my plan was to put it in the glove box of the car. But then I saw how unpopular 8-tracks are nowadays. Somehow they are unpopular. And, um... I decided to prominently display this magnificent looking machine underneath my dashboard where the glove box cover is. <laughs> so uh, I decided to put it in and I put it in yesterday. It probably it took about half an hour to put in and including tape taking the video which took a while. I had to edit it down and everything. It took a really long time. But as you can see, it's all wired up. The speakers and everything are also wired up. That one is around the steering column as to not get into the footwell, but you can turn the steering column and it doesn't hit it. And they're all wired up and they go to each speaker, one on that side and one on that side. If you're wondering how this is connected, well, the speaker wires run down and they're connected to this speaker and then to this blue speaker wire, which goes to the other side speaker. And those are both connected to these two speaker wires but they're wired in series, so one, like, this sides of this one is connected to, like, this sides of this one is connected to the green and vice versa. And the negative terminal for this is up here on a bolt. And if we go to look at the positive terminal, you would think that it's probably on the, um, on the battery. But it is not on the battery, because I thought that would probably kill the battery. Where it is, is actually behind this fuse here. Normally it would be on the uh, positive terminal of the battery, but it's over here behind that fuse, which I think is pretty good. So I'm going to see if it works. And for these 8-track machines, some people would think that this is the button. That's not the button. That's actually the button to switch between tracks. People would think that's the button to turn it on and off. Maybe this 8 button? No, that's just the sticker. The switch is actually in here. As you can see, there's the mechanism that powers it. And over there, there's that little metal flange thing. That's the switch. And as you can hear, it is running, which is really, really good. Well, I better go buy some Beatles 8-tracks now. Thanks for watching.